Welcome to Mega Talk. We're still the talk show in boxing. So the war of words has begun between Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz Jr. What's interesting is I remember when both of these guys were world champions and the respect that they're showing each other. They came on one of the talk show, one of the sports talk shows, and they were saying the respect what they had for each other. And yes, they'd really like to fight each other in the future because they're both great champions. Now. It's the total opposite. They're not disrespecting each other badly, but the war of words has begun, each blaming the other for not taking the fight. I don't know who is to blame, but one thing is for sure is that I really, really want to watch this fight. I'm glad that those days now have gone where people just saw Andy Ruiz Jr. as an out-of-shape fighter. I think he's proved himself, and I think this here will further prove himself by fighting Deontay Wilder. To really see the levels of Andy Ruiz as well, I want to watch this fight because people thought that when he fought Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua lost because he was washed up and he wasn't that good. Well, let us see the fight between Deontay Wilder because when we start to see people fight, the same fighters such as Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury and now we've got to say Usyk, then we will see levels. I knew that Andy Ruiz Jr. was good for when he fought Joseph Parker. And that's when Joseph Parker was Joseph Parker. And I personally thought when I watched that fight that Joseph Parker lost that fight. But now, if we can see this fight here, we'll really see levels. And that's exactly the same reason why I want to see Tyson Fury fight Alexander Usyk. But as we can see, it's not going to happen. Tyson Fury is just too busy trying to make money fighting UFC fighters at the moment. But yet, yeah, hopefully, as this war of words has begun, Deontay says to Andy Ruiz, just sign the contract. Andy Ruiz is saying that it's not about money. It's not about money. You just do what you need to do. So Deontay sent back a message and says, sign the contract and let's do this. Let's stop the talking and let us just do this. One thing that I noticed and even Deontay Wilder had picked up as well is the amount of times that Andy Ruiz had edited the video. Is there something that he was scared to say? Is there something that he had said which was out of order? We don't know. We can only speculate. But I did notice that Deontay says that he was scared and really the video was edited so much to make it sound as brave as it could be. That's the kind of idea what I got from Deontay. But either way, this is a fight that I really want to see. I wasn't really overly impressed with Andy Ruiz's last few fights. But this one here, he will have to be up to. This one here, he will have to put the effort in because Deontay Wilder, he punches like a mule kick. Anyway, thank you for that. We'll have to watch this one and see what happens. Hopefully this one will happen before the big showdown between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. And remember, that will only happen if Anthony Joshua and Deontay win their next fights. Thank you for listening to Mega Talk.